Breaking news. Nobel laureate Professor Wallace Oyinka has slammed President Muhammad Buhari for failing to fulfill one of his electoral pledges for reopening case file of unresolved murders in Nigeria, especially that of former Attorney General of the Federation and Minister of Justice, Bola Ige. Shoyinka, who shared his thought in an article on Saturday, stated that though President Buhari ordered the Inspector General of Police to reopen the case of Ige's mother, nothing tangible had come out of it since the directive was given, indicating that there was no political will to pursue the matter. The literary icon for that question, President Buhari's sincerity to relaunch an investigation into Iki's mother following the appointment of the prime suspect in the case, Iyola Omishore as National Secretary of the Ruling or Progressive Congress. According to Soyinka, Omishore's latest appointment and acceptance by Buhari is a major setback in the pursuant of justice in Igi's mother. He said, barely three months have passed since the 2028 anniversary of the murder of the late Attorney General and Minister of Justice, Bola Igi, an occasion that I utilized to remind President Muhammad Buhari of a subsisting election pledge. That pledge was to reopen the files on the spate of unresolved political assassinations that had plagued the nation in recent decades. Prominent among those cases was that of the Minister of Justice murdered on his way to take up a prestigious position with the United Nations. Presidential response was swift. Buhari ordered the Inspector General of Police to reopen those files and resume investigations. The nation has patiently waited even a hint of work in progress. Most I am certain, except no less than a revaluation of para investigative efforts, none to my knowledge has attempted to rush the chief of police and his team into judgment. We all take solace in the knowledge that the will of justice grants slowly, but they arrive eventually. However, an unusual turn of events has raised questions. The ruling party, headed by the same president, had just elected as its national secretary one of the prime suspects of the most notorious of the nation's unresolved murders. Can you just imagine what is happening in Nigeria? The ruling party headed by the same president has just elected its national secretary and this person is one of the prime suspects of the most notorious of the nation's unresolved murders. Can you just imagine? Well, you also recall that recently during the APC convention, a new APC leader was chosen who, you know, Someone who has a EFCC case on his neck was also chosen as the APC leader. So, choosing someone who is one of the prime suspects of the most notorious of the nation's unresolved murder to head, you know, to be elected as the national secretary, being chosen by the head of the same party, that is, the president, the incumbent president now, shouldn't be something new. Not for a moment does one suggest that mere accusation, even trial, 
presume guilt more than may pre- you know predict a verdict pardon is involved in any trial however the process of arriving at that ultimate destination justice is integral to the very concept of democracy and equality under the law that process is one of the structures of civil civic education pardon unresolved till today were quite a number of untidy even suspect aspects of investigation prosecution and trial aspects which be viewed in proper cell cohabitation you know cohabitation pardon by suspects under custody that is you know that this led necessarily to recantation of earlier deposition is not thereby proven but the fact remains that such utons did take place one was so brazen that it induced a heart attack that proved fatal to the victim's wife another justice mrs atsenoke Ige, that the prime suspect was privileged in a number of improper ways went beyond mere allegation proper invest you know, intervention pardon political intervention including pressure on the judiciary during bill hearing cannot be denied a judge under such pressure kept a diary with accusation pages of which he consigned to friends to keep safe in you know to safe keeping pardon with the emergence of the said prime suspect as national secretary of the ruling party is the inspector general of police equipped to confront political obstacles in a resumption of investigation is there any guarantee that the result will see the light of the day how suspects abinitio with you know will be the conclusions given the present political ordering i repeat we are speaking of blatant undeniable exercise of political intervention during investigations and the arrangement of suspects parallel incumbency of the position of national secretary of a ruling party has demonstrated the potent interventionist clause that can be wielded from that office the president has personally received and thus appointed the new incumbent since he remains central and you know he remains central to any reinvestigation whatever form of direction it takes just what value of objection assessment can be placed on the presidential pledge this layman that investigative revisit is already hamstrung and disrupted of credibility i think the nation should simply receive president buhari you know should simply relieve president buhari of his pledge i am certain the inspector general of police will be equally relieved and can now turn his mind and energy to the national accustomed posture business as usual Ige was murdered on December 23, 2001 in Ibadan, Oyo State and the case has not been revisited by President Muhammad Buhari despite promising he will revisit it. Don't forget that he was 71 at the time of his assassination though a lot of persons were arrested and tried for the involvement in his killing including Omishore. None ever fixed any sentence as they were all acquainted. We would like you to let us know your own reaction to this plan development. Don't forget that Sonika is knocking President Mohamed Buhari over the failure to find Bola Ige's mother and has also slammed APC for appointing prime suspect Omishore as party secretary. Thank you guys for listening. Do subscribe to this channel if you have not, and I will see you on the other news. Bye for now.